Well, I'm John Perry, and I'm joined by Representative and John DeMoose. And Representative, the Michigan House this week approved and sent on to the Michigan Senate legislation dealing with short-term rentals in Michigan. It's a complicated issue, but it's an issue where you were able to find some common ground and, is it fair to say, bring people together? Yeah, this is a very difficult issue because it takes two good conservative principles and pits them against one another. On the one hand, you've got property rights. The other, the, the whole idea of local control. And we were trying to find the right balance between the two. And this is an issue, too, where you literally have been working since last summer yeah. trying to find some kind of agreement. Well, with the bills that were originally introduced were just totally unacceptable for our district. I mean, we have this is a big issue in northern Michigan and in the eastern UP. First of all, one of the biggest things we're facing is a, a, a shortage of affordable homes. I mean, it's terrible. People, there aren't enough places for people to live. And in a heavily tourist area like this, we've got people coming in and buying up what home stock we do have available and using them a lot of times for short-term rentals. I've had people on the phone crying because they can't find a home to rent for their family. So we had to be very careful. This legislation as introduced would have been devastating for our, our area. So right away, I sort of got together and led a bit of a resistance, if you will. Toward that end, uh, leading that resistance, listening to the people in your district and then sitting down at the table and being their voice is almost sort of the, the textbook version of how the system is supposed to operate, isn't You're it? You're right. You're right. And, and this was really fascinating, especially as a freshman uh, legislator here, uh, bringing together different voices and trying to fight for this, fight for that. Recognize the bill that we passed was version 11. And so we did get some wins in there. Um, I still have to say it's by far the hardest vote I had to take because I still have deep reservations about this and understand that in our area, I mean, these short-term rentals are a real mixed bag. And so that said, I have to go with the process we started. And we were able to, through negotiations and by, by sort of through this resistance, if you will, we took a bill that was originally saying to local governments, that you have to allow 100% of your housing stock to be available for short-term rentals. We got that from 100% to 30%. The original bill said that you could not place any restrictions on the amount of the number of units an entity or a person could own and put into the short-term rental market, which meant that businesses could come in and buy up huge swaths of neighborhoods and just use them for short-term rentals. We took that original bill from unlimited to two, if that's what the local governments uh, choose to do. Representative, you said huh, this was a process. The fact of the matter is it goes to the Michigan Senate now. In all likelihood, it will come back to the Michigan House for one final look before it goes to the governor. What happened in the House this week is not necessarily the final product here, is it? No, I, I actually hope it's not. Uh, we made a lot of progress through the things that I was working on and a, a couple of my colleagues. We, we made that progress. I hope the Senate makes even more progress, honestly, to, towards uh, defending local control. And if they come back um, with something that's reasonable, I'll vote for it again in the House. If not, then I'll vote against it. I mean, it's as simple as that. My top priority, though, in this whole thing, given our unique district, is to protect the local control and local citizens and our rights to regulate how we handle these things in our, in our economy. Okay. John DeMoose, thank you very much. Thanks. And thank you for joining us.